Now, if you're looking for a little bit of volatility to trade in the market, so for the week starting Monday, the 26th of February, Wednesday brings the Kiwi interest rate uh, decision expected to leave rates on hold at 5.5%. Uh, that would be for the fifth straight meeting. Uh, but its last decision, which was on the 29th of November, the RBNZ surprised the market by signaling a willingness to increase interest rates once again if necessary. It indicated then that stronger than expected demand and wage growth were possible factors that could stall the progress on taming inflation. Now, the cross I want to take a look at on this is what's happening with the Kiwi against the Aussie. Now, this is the Australian dollar uh, down against the Kiwi. Uh, the uh, Kiwi uh, very close to levels not seen since the 22nd of May last year. So strength for the, uh, uh, the New Zealand dollar. And this, if it continues uh, with the rhetoric around the hawkishness, then we could well end up seeing a break of this 105.60. Now, if you're short at 105.96, uh, your stop would go above the 106.50 level up here, uh, which is above, uh, above recent price action. And if we get a candle close below the 105.60, you're then on the way down to this level down here, uh, which were the lows that we had at 104.71 uh, back in December the 16th, 2022. So that's the direction of travel. And that could well be uh, where we see uh, the direction. Uh, since the last decision, inflation has eased slightly, but still too high for the RBNZ governor, Adrian Orr. An RBNZ quarterly survey published recently as well shows the two-year inflation expectations rose to 3.2%. Previous estimate was 3%. It's unlikely, I suspect, we could well end up getting another interest rate rise at this stage from the RBNZ. Uh, but if they do, certainly we could well see this disappear below, below that line of support at 105.60. Certainly an interesting event to watch out for for trading volatility.